Okay, it's time to hit the orange models. Finally, the orange set is the new set in firmware 1.2 on the Mutable Instruments Platts. And we're going to do some more recipes. We're going to do it a little bit differently this time because we're not going to go in order because 3, 4, and 5 in the orange set are special. So we're going to save those. The next video we're going to deal with 3, 4, and 5. Those are the DX7 FM synthesis models. They're incredible and they're endless. Total infinity on that. And so for now, we're just going to do some recipes on 1, 2, 6, 7, and 8. And we're going to try to tear through these. There's not going to be as many maybe as some other videos, but 8 for me is another infinity. So we'll just talk about that at a high level. So let's let's move into it. The first recipe actually is this. This is the recipe we're hearing right now. And I'm calling this one the classic synth bass. Uh, let me turn effects off that I like to use in the intro. But that's classic synth bass. Pretty straightforward. Got harmonics at about two o'clock, morph and timbre all the way clockwise. Uh, you know, pretty low frequency, but not that low. That's low. It's a nice synth bass. And everything else is centered. And the envelope that we've got, which we do with that left button and morph on this recipe, is at three LEDs, which is a pretty long release. It's a nice sound. Okay. Let's move to the next model, the next recipe. It's on the same model, on the orange number one. And I've got this one that's called Play Your Cheeks. If you ever got that sound when you slap or snap your cheeks and uh, make that sound with your mouth, you can shape your mouth to get a pitch. That's kind of what you get here. So our harmonics, we're going to go all the way clockwise. Timbre, we're going to put to 9 o'clock. And we're going to go 9 o'clock on morph and counterclockwise on FM. We know we always get an interesting sound when we do something like that. Let's hear this. There we go. So it's like you're playing your cheeks. Yeah. A little bit like a Blue Man Group sound. Let's move on to the next one. And this one is uh, I'm going to call it the choice of bass because you can just do so many different bass sounds with this. We're going to move harmonics to center, timbre to 3 o'clock. Morph is going to be at 9 o'clock. And then we're going to keep all these attenuverters centered. There's just so many bass sounds you can do here. So I'm just going to play with some of these settings. So that's your choice of bass. So that's the orange um, model one. And let's look at the cheat sheet. That is the classic wave shape with filter wave shapes. So it's actually a couple of wave shapes that are used here. And that timbre being the filter cutoff is what makes it so interesting. This is like, this plays like a classic filter cutoff instrument. I mean, it's really harmonics does the resonance, timbre does the filter cutoff, morph does the waveform in the sub level, so you can really get that subwoofer kind of sound on the right side here. In the middle too. 
yeah so anyway that's model number one let's move on to model number two model number two is the phase distortion and modulation and it's a little harder I think to get specific recipes on this one uh, I did find a few that I liked so I'm gonna start with the first one is the violin string pluck and so we're gonna go mid or high frequency like a violin harmonics we're going to go clockwise counterclockwise on timbre and around three o'clock on this attenuverter on timbre and clockwise on morph let's hear that yeah it's a violin pluck that's really that one i like that's close nice strong transient sound but definitely a string plucking sound okay let's move on to the next one this one is like pure electric strings we're going to stay clockwise here on harmonics timbre we're going to move clockwise and morph will move counterclockwise and we're going to go center on all the attenuverters so let's see what that sounds like and let's lengthen the delay the uh, decay or the release on this yeah that's why i call this pure electric strings move on the next one uh, still in that second model is the last one I'm going to do on the second model it's basically read instrument keys so it's like a read instrument but it sounds a little bit more like key sounds and and we can do almost any frequency we're gonna put harmonics to about one o'clock timbre to about eleven o'clock this one feels so specific and morph to about one o'clock very specific let's hear this so it's like a reed instrument, but struck like keys on a piano. Okay, that's it. Let's move on. Now, the next three, as I said in the intro, three, four, and five on the orange set, or the DX7 FM synthesis models, and we're not going to cover them here. I actually, there's so much to do here, so I'm not going to actually get into it in this video, but in the next video I will. And I have loaded through a program that Emily Glay actually made possible on the web my own DX7 sounds. No, not my own, but my own mix of DX7 sounds in each of three, four, and five. 32 sounds in each, which are controlled by the harmonics knob. So I'll just quickly let you hear some of those just as a teaser. It's just incredible sounds. And so many of them. That's 32 there. 32 here. And 32 here. You can see why this deserves its own video, or more, maybe a whole series. But anyway, let's keep going. We're going to go to Model 6 and do a few recipes here. The first one is like a tuba, or an airy standing bass. So we're going to go with low frequency here. Centered on harmonics, 9 o'clock on timbre, 9 o'clock on morph and centered everywhere else. And I want to make sure we've got a little bit of a release here. Let's hear that. Yeah, with 
harmonics a little bit past center. You hear a little bit of an airy kind of sound. And if I add in a little bit of that aux, you really get that airy kind of sound. Okay, let's move on. The next one is, uh, I'm gonna call it a motor. It just uh, is more of a sound effect. But we're gonna start low here. We're gonna go clockwise on harmonics and pretty much everything else centered. And I think we go very low on the frequency. Yeah, it's kind of a motor, motor sound. Probably sounds more like that without the trigger. Or without the change in. Yeah. Pull both of those. There's the motor. No trigger, no change in the octave. Uh, sorry, the pitch. So, fun. Let's go on to the next one. This is a pulsing side chain saw. So it's kind of a saw sound, like a saw curve. And uh, we're going to go anywhere in the frequency spectrum here, low or high. We're going to go clockwise on harmonics. We're going to go counterclockwise on timbre and counterclockwise on morph. And about four to five o'clock on this attenuverter for morph. Let's see what this sounds like. Okay, that's enough of that one. The pulsing side chain saw. The next one is a slow rise saw, also kind of a side chain, so I call it the slow rise saw chain. And we're gonna go harmonics is gonna be a little bit uh, specific here at about between two and three, so let's call it 230 clockwise on timbre, counterclockwise on the timbre attenuverter, clockwise on morph and on the morph attenuverter. So let's hear this one. So more of a slow rise saw. It's got a strong transient, so I'm not sure why I called it a slow rise, but it's got a bit of that. So with FM turned a little bit to the left here. Yeah, good enough. <laughs> and the next one is a bass with chords. We're, this is going to move now on to model number seven, which is the string machine emulation. So let's go to that. And this is, uh, a. it's got sort of a double sound. So it's a bass sound with chord sounds in the background. So let's hear this. Uh, nine o'clock on harmonics. Kind of a mid-frequency clockwise on timbre, nine o'clock on morph, clockwise on the morph attenuverter, and I think I'm centering these. Let's listen to this one. So you get a combination of a bass sound or initial kind of plucking sound with then a chord. And harmonics in this model controls what type of chord it is. So you can see that when we look at our cheat sheet here. Harmonics is the chord type. Okay, let's move on to the next one. The next one is a side-chained rhythmic house chord. So it's kind of like house chords, but side chain sound so harmonics will be at 11 o'clock three o'clock on timbre counterclockwise sorry centered on morph counterclockwise on the timbre attenuverter 
and then center it all around otherwise. And let's go long on the release. There's those house chords. Oh yeah. So you can imagine if you program the chords right and then put this to a strong beat, you could really get some really cool sounds here. And it sounds kind of side-chained, which is why I call it the side-chained rhythmic house chords. Yeah, very cool. Now this one, I'm going to speed up the clock because the trigger is what triggers the ARP. Every trigger changes the ARP. And this is not a specific recipe. I'm not going to do a specific recipe. I'm just basically showing the infinite possibilities on this ARP. So let's stick to a chord type that's down here, which I think is a minor. And this is my favorite ARP setting. So the timbre is kind of the ARP setting. And kind of that. Right around four o'clock is my favorite one. All right, we're gonna end there. So I'm gonna put up some effects. Yeah, I think this is my favorite uh, plane model, not including the DX7 models, on this set of orange models that are new with firmware 1.2. Enjoy. <laughs>